for the Chipsu Coalition, nine countries in the region signing up for this idea of working together to innovate and really prosper together. I wonder if this is going to be really the reality, more fragmentation and regionalism perhaps, given the geopolitical complexities facing the industry at the moment. Well, the complexity shows us that we need to work on the strategic uh, autonomy in, uh, within uh, Europe, and that's why I've uh, headed this uh, semicon coalition yeah. with the like-minded uh, countries. And it's uh, uh, it's to show to the Commission as well that we are united as uh, as countries. And it's, you mentioned the nine uh, countries. We started with nine. We're actually we're heading up to the uh, to the 15 uh, countries uh, as well. And we're working together with the Commission uh, diligently to to roll out this uh, this. this plan to strengthen the semicon industry uh, within uh, the EU uh, boundaries and also by working on having more of the value chain on EU soil. So it's mm -hmm. a strong commitment that we show uh, towards uh, uh, the EU, uh, within the EU and uh, for the countries uh, uh, alike. Mm -hmm. I do have to say that Europe does have a lot of niche and very strategic strength when it comes to the semiconductor industry. Do you think it would actually help uh, Europe's in negotiation with the Trump administration in the United States because it's got the strategic strength? Well, uh, the Semicon and uh, in the Netherlands with our, our uh, GEM uh, ASML, obviously, yes. um, it's uh, it's a technology that benefits uh, the world. So we're talking about uh, well-being, welfare. Uh, it, this goes beyond technology. So it's something very crucial, and we're very uh, proud of uh, of that. And we are working with all uh, administrations to make sure that we all benefit uh, from all the beautiful things that that uh, that Semicon and the chips uh, bring our. Uh, society and our, uh, our industries. How do you assess emerging players like China? Because the narrative around China is a self-sufficiency. Sure, you got to ASML, which is practically a global monopoly. Do you think China is making some meaningful progress when it comes to playing catch up, when it comes to even EUV uh, lithography uh, area? Yeah, well, what I uh, what I touched upon earlier is that within the European Union, we need to uh, step up our game uh, regarding our strategic uh, autonomy. Uh, that's very, uh, very important because we've seen uh, supply chains been uh, being disrupted after COVID time. Uh, so we know that we needed to step up our game. That's what we're working on with uh, the Commission alike, uh, and many other countries do uh, do the same as we've seen here in uh, in Singapore uh, as well. Uh, so it's only uh, I think it's only wise that countries think on how to uh, make sure that supply chains are steady uh, and are uh, and, and make sure that all the production lines uh, keep uh, keep uh, keep uh, running and that everyone uh, stays uh, advanced uh, in the technological field. You're here in Singapore, and actually later on today you'll be going to Japan as well. How are you leveraging your relationship with these Asian uh, countries um, to towards your strength? Because because uh, some were actually pointing out that it's a lot harder and more expensive to make chips in Europe versus Asia. Is this region somewhat of a hub for your country's uh, semiconductor players? Well, in a way it is because uh, Singapore, and we're also celebrating 60 years of bilateral uh, relationships between the Netherlands and Singapore. And Singapore is our gateway uh, to, towards uh, the Asia Pacific uh, region. It's an important uh, player, uh, as is the Netherlands the gateway to Europe for uh, many uh, companies from uh, from uh, Singapore um, so we're focusing on uh, the trade relations as you know we uh, we as a seafaring uh, uh, nation uh, trade is in our DNA in the, in the, in the Netherlands so we're uh, open for uh, new possibilities with other countries and the diversity of the Asian countries is so uh, it, it's, it's fantastic to see how uh, every country has a different role uh, to play and also in the semicon uh, field uh, so it's not a uh, and or it's an and and uh, situation mm -hmm.